all you can eat tacos, all you can eat birria, all you can eat chili relleno at the hottest, biggest Mexican buffet you're gonna find in Orange County. You get 20 items to choose from and it is pretty awesome. You cannot miss this place. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Orange County in the city of Tustin because I'm gonna be checking out one of the most rockin' Mexican restaurants in town. Behind me is Casa del Sol restaurant. Now the reason why this spot is so rocking is that on Sundays, they have an all-you-can-eat brunch Mexican buffet. You don't find too many of these Mexican buffets around Orange County. So this is the video you must stick all the way to the end of, especially if you love Mexican buffet, because I'm gonna show you the entire spread here at one of the hottest Sunday brunch buffets in OC. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because it posts these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading into Casa del Sol. I hear some music going on in there. Seems like there's a party. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Casa del Sol is a contemporary Mexican restaurant. So yes, it has a very lively atmosphere. It's not a buffet restaurant per se, but on Sundays, they offer the all-you-can-eat Mexican brunch buffet for $39 a person. You get over 20 items to choose from. It starts from 10 a.m. and goes all the way to 3 p.m., but you should definitely come earlier. And what's cool about this experience on Sundays is that they have this mariachi band that has two shows during the Sunday brunch experience. And this show is like really top notch. It, people come here just to watch this one hour performance. So the buffet starts on the right side of the room. All right, we got our healthy stuff like the mixed greens. You gotta have your salad and you have three choices of dressing. You got the Caesar dressing, and this is called the pepita dressing. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but you can look it up. And that is the ranch. And then we have some, uh, let's see, tortilla chips and some sliced cucumber, some croutons and tomatoes and bell pepper and uh, let's see, red onions. Now on this side, we got a fruit salad. It looks like a potato salad, but it's actually fruit. I believe there are raisins and apples in there, at least from what it looks like. And then up here, we got some assorted fruits, everything from cantaloupe to strawberries. To the left, jello. It looks like the two main colors are orange and green today. And then down here, it looks like they're kind of out of it, but this is the agua chile, which is shrimp. And it's a good thing they do have these labels so you know exactly what you're eating because sometimes it could be a little bit confusing. Ooh, these are all the beans. Okay, very nice. You see that? Nice and runny. The frijoles. And what do we have here? Some Mexican rice. Yeah, beans and rice. Got to have that to make your meal complete. And this is breakfast potato. Yeah, you're going to find items like this because after all, this is a brunch buffet. And then on this side, bacon and sausage. So yeah, not totally Mexican, has some American influences. Fries as well as chicken tenders. So I'm assuming this is the kitty section, kind of. Okay, pretty good. And this one, cheese enchilada, oh yeah. I love enchiladas. This is like very basic popular Mexican food. And what do we have here? <gasps> Chili relleno, oh, this is like one of my favorites. Yep, I came to the right buffet. Imagine that all you can eat chili relleno. That is so awesome, okay. Moving on to this side, this is birria. Oh yeah, they actually have birria here. And I think this is the beef birria because I don't usually see the goat in a lot of places around Southern California, but still, I'll take the beef. So this is uh, pork, kind of like a pork stew with that tomatillo type of chili sauce. Looks so delicious, doesn't it? I bet this is bursting with flavor. Ooh, some waffles there. Okay, keeping in line with the brunch theme along with, let's see, I think that is uh, butter. Yes, butter. And we got some maple syrup. Well, let's start with the first plate, round one. 
And then the buffet line would exit out here, which is all of your different sauces and condiments. You get salsa of different spiciness level. You see that you got the red and the green, and even this guacamole, and pico de gallo, and some chopped cilantro, and onions. Yeah, you're all set. So like I said, they do have a full-on menu here where if you come other than the Sunday brunch buffet times, you can get a lot of different Mexican foods on the menu, plus drinks. It's not a very cheap Mexican restaurant, let me tell you that. But you're definitely getting ambiance experience and you're in this very nice outdoor shopping center called The District. It's actually my first time here. And I think a lot of this food actually comes from the a la carte menu, which is a good thing because that means you're gonna get some pretty quality Mexican food here. Mm. Friolis has a lot of flavor. Yeah, it does have a lot of flavor, wow. It's not the type of beans that are extremely runny, so there is a little bit of a bite. You can actually feel the beans inside. Okay, rice is not bad too. You know, it tastes like typical Mexican rice, which is a good thing. So there is indoor seating and there's outdoor seating too. It's kind of loud in there, especially when the mariachi band plays, but if you guys want to get a front row view of the show, then definitely you got to sit inside. But today, outdoor weather is so perfect. Mm. That is a pretty awesome chili relleno. It's so eggy and uh, there's that cheese on top. Mm. Man, I haven't had a chili relleno in a long time. And by the way, it is one of my favorite foods. Wow, that tastes just like out of an American restaurant. This sausage is so... It's very soft and it has a lot of like oily, fatty flavor. That's like a very typical American sausage that you would find in a breakfast restaurant. But it's good though, very good tasting. I always like Virias, so this is a really good thing they got going on at this buffet. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. By the way, my Coke came right now. That is such a good Viria, wow. Tastes just like what I've had at those birria taco stands. The meat is so tender, it's like shredded beef. And it's so soupy too. So it has like a consomme on it. Tastes just like a very good traditional beef birria. Wow. That birria is as good as what I've had in a lot of those taco stands too, I'm not kidding. Oh okay, yeah, I could come back, just eat the birria and the buffet line. See, here's the other star of the show here, the chili verde, which is very soft uh, pork. It's very tender. Although I think it kind of has a little bit of a porky taste, but the uh, tomatillo and the tenderness of it is pretty much on point. Oh yeah, so if you're here, you gotta definitely get the chili verde. It's like one of the big items to get at this Oikini buffet. I mean, after all, you want to get your money's worth, so you got to have stuff like birria and chili verde, right? So round number two, I'm going to be getting myself some tacos. Yeah, they make it right here. You see, they put the tortillas to heat it up, kind of grill it a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm going to get one of each. So I'm going to get the beef, some chicken. I mean, chicken is not my top choice, but might as well try it since I'm here, right? And of course, carnitas, oh yeah. I believe the last call is about 2.30ish, so that's why I advise you try to get here. The earlier, the better. Because if you can eat a lot and you wanna stay here to eat all the tacos that you want, then yeah, you should come pretty early. Mm. Those carnitas just melt in your mouth. It's so tender. So this carnitas is like the Mexican version of pulled pork. I feel like if I don't know what else to put in tacos, carnitas pastor is really go-to. And yeah, like I said, they have a salsa bar back there. So dress it up however way you like. Mm. 
Oh wow, okay. This chicken is actually a little better than I thought. So they're diced up into small pieces and they're very tender too. And a little bit crispy because they've been grilled. All right, not bad. Yeah, you should definitely get the chicken too. I'm loving it. Beef tacos. Mm. It's diced up just like the chicken, so it's very small. But tender, very well seasoned. Not too salty either, which is a good thing. By the way, how many tacos can you eat if you were to go to an all-you-can-eat taco buffet? Drop that comment. I'd love to hear your experience. I almost totally forgot about this one. Agua chili. Yeah, for sure. Gotta try this one. Mm. It's pretty much raw shrimp that's cooked in the lemon juice. This one is kind of spicier than the other agua chilies I've had in the past. But what I love about it is that it's so refreshing. It definitely tastes like beach food. If you have some chips on the side, you know, eat it with some tostada or something, you got a winning combination. What do you think? Should I try the waffles? Since this is a brunch, it's not brunch time. This is more like my dessert now. And I'm definitely gonna get this before I get out of here. Some churros, yes. So these are the desserts. Looks like we got brownies with chocolate chip. And I think that might be cheesecake from what it looks like, bite-sized. I'm not sure what this one is. I think it's some sort of croissant, but it does look very good though. If you love pastries, they got you covered here. And they got some chocolate chip cookies. Very nice. Isn't it kind of weird that I'm eating this one all the way at the last one? It should have been probably the first earlier in the day. Mmm. Wow, have I been missing out the whole time? Soft and very crispy. And um, be sure to pour a lot of that butter and the syrup on it. This is like a near perfect waffle. Never overlook any items just because it's not Mexican, right? So when you come to this buffet, you definitely need to get the birria. I mean, that tastes so good. I mean, I heard that the taco birria is one of their best sellers here from the a la carte menu. So I'm not entirely surprised that the buffet birria tastes very good. But then the chili relleno and like the agua chili, they're all really good too. So you're gonna have a fun time here. $39 per person on Sundays. And I would highly recommend the reservations because this place gets really packed, especially if people come here to watch the mariachi in very high demand. So yes, I recommend get reservations, come check out this buffet because it's definitely one of the top ones I've been to in Orange County. Since this is a new shopping center, might as well check it out, right? Burn off some calories. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. You know what to do, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.